George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Ah! Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the street, he makes his escape with the help of his friend, and he, he, he. Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship, while fella and Ursula stay in step. Where George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Ah, watch out for that tree. Watch out for that ah, oh. tree. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. He can be. Ah, watch out for that tree. When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ding, ding, ding. Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Fella and Ursula stay in step. We're George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Ah, watch out for that tree. Our story opens today under the big top of Ringading Brothers Circus. Ringading Brothers presents, for the first time anywhere, the great Fettuccini in a death defying triple somersault into a damp handkerchief. One, two, three. Ooh. Uh oh. He missed the handkerchief. Hey, that does it. I'm a quick. How come, Fettuccini? Because of that height. You didn't tell me it wasn't gonna hurt. Well, I guess we get a new trapeze act. Don't be silly. Where are we gonna find anybody else stupid enough to try a triple somersault into a damp handkerchief? Of, of course, course. George, George of, of the, the jungle. jungle. And so it was that those two arch criminals, Tiger and Weevil, soon had a new nefarious scheme to carry out. Neat, eh, Tiger? For shipping George of the Jungle to the new 90 stage, we get 10,000 clams. I'd still rather be paid in real money. Arr! Money can be traced, Gidget. So can 10,000 clams, especially at low tide. Meanwhile, unaware of the impending danger, the jungle monarch surveyed his tropical umpire. That tropical empire? Whatever. Suddenly, his keen ears picked up the sound of a lady in distress. Lady in distress, George, go! Little did George know it was all a dastardly trick. Help! Murder! Police! This has been a recorded message. Hey, uh, okay, listen. Uh, uh, That's George now. How can ye tell? Call it a lucky guess. Is the trap ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Ready, CD Tiger. Uh, uh, all right. Now, uh, uh, you left the back open. When will you learn to keep your trap shut? We're safe, Weevil. He's out cold. What, that? I say, we're safe. You're out. Now that, tropical umpire. Within minutes, the ape man was loaded onto a bamboo pole and on his way to the coast. Not fair to take George out of jungle. Jungle is Georgia's element. And speaking of elements, there he was, trusting faithful Shep. That's elephant, not element. Well, it's too late now. And a good doggy, Shep. Sick him, boy. Faster, Weevil. He's gaining on us. Once again, we see that dog is man's best friend. If he weighs 3,000 pounds, he'd better be. But undaunted, the wily duo were still determined to capture the noble jungle lord. You bet your goonie bird we are. Be this here pit deep enough now, tiger? Yes. Let's cover it up, and I'll put the record on. Once again, lured by the false distress cry, George dashed toward the concealed pit. <laughs> but just before George set foot on the trap... Oh, 
Oh, a lion! Run! This way! No! Not this way! Oh, hi, Leon. Long time no titi. Crikey! Even the lions be on his side. Leon, oh, George, favor. George once took Thorn from his paw. Right, Leon? A fierce African storm raged all that night, and by dawn had poured down enough water to float the two villains out of their pit. I've been treading water so long, I've got webbed feet. How about you, Weevil? <coughs> but 10,000 clams is 10,000 clams, and that very afternoon found the blackguards skulking beneath George's treehouse. George, how can you be so sure that Tiger and Weevil have gone? George, see no Weevil, hear no Weevil, speak no Weevil. He's disappeared. I don't blame him. You beasts, what did you do? We came, we sawed, we conked him. Let's make tracks, Weevil. And so it appeared that the villains finally had George in their oily clutch. Ape, we must do something. I should think so. That hole makes a frightful draft. Things look dark for our hero. That much better. Now George call for help from animal friends. <laughs> what be that? You see, any minute now, Mbwiggy, the rhinoceros, come to rescue. Sure enough, the bushes at the side of the road parted, and there came charging out of them not a rhino, but a giant man-eating mulberry bush. See more. How about that? George call for Mwiggy. Get Mtwiggy. The fierce plant set to work and demolished the villain's jeep. Then it demolished the villain. We give up. Even the ready plants are on your side. Sure. See more, old George favor. You mean? Yes. George once took paw from his thorn. So the villains had to depart empty-handed. And now we shall never know whether George could actually do a triple somersault into a damp hanky. <laughs> the answer is no. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ding, ding, ding! Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while fella and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Watch out for that tree! Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me.